it's finally here, the 2022 World Cup. Qatar versus Ecuador, TV vlog, my first World Cup TV vlog. And yeah, we are literally 10 minutes away from kickoff. Who will win? And who will come out on top? The host nation. This will be their first ever appearance at the World Cup. They were guaranteed. guaranteed. So yeah. I would like for you all to comment, subscribe, and here we go. So this is an example, I've put some jelly windows for it going home, along with some England flags going cross, with my and that. Some include Arsenal, some include England, yeah, that's my display. If you put, if you're Flags up in the window this year, do let me know in the comments. I've seen some good ones around when I was out and about. Yeah, although it's in winter, we still watch as normal. Please may I point out in this TV vlog, I do not own any rights at all. So, this is it. The teams are coming out. Here we go, the teams are coming out. The biggest tournament in the world. Let's watch who will come out on top. And this is my first mutual TV vlog in a long time, so yeah. Singing the national anthem. What an atmosphere in that stadium. First time ever I am hearing the Qatar National Anthem. Shows you how little I actually know about this country. I've only known about it, heard about it since the last World Cup. Let's see. So that's the Qatar lineup. There you go. The Ecuador lineup. I think there's three Brighton players. And that. And that is the the. Qatar lineup, quite a lot of substitutes. Yes. Here we go then. This is it. And here we go. We are underway in Qatar. Let's do watch. 32 teams. The first game. Here we go. We have the first goal already of the 2022 World Cup. Scored by Ecuador from a set piece. Ecuador fans are going crazy. And there was a mess at the back there. They, they scored from a free kick. And the first goal of the World Cup goes to Ecuador. And the fans have gone absolutely crazy. It was a defensive area from the goalkeeper. And it was headed in nicely. Great. And it was quite scrappy really. But there you go. Inside the first five minutes we have a goal. Good start to the World Cup. Well not for the host. So a fun fact is. In the build up to qualifying. Qatar scored the most goals in qualifying. As in the most free kicks. So, there is a possible offside, they're doing a VAR check. This could be crazy if this gets disallowed. The goal has been disallowed. Oh my word. What a start we've got here. We've had a goal and then VAR disallowed Jesus. <laughs> offside. And now it's allowed... And they are, and the Qatar fans are now going crazy. His knee was offside, so that's why the goal got disallowed. Right, it's a penalty to Ecuador. And and the goalkeeper's gonna receive a yellow card. It's not going to plan here for the host. So it looks like they will get their open art eventually. So definitely a penalty to Ecuador. It's been an eventful first quarter of an hour, this. Right, here we go. 
Katal steps to take the penalty. And it goes in. 1 0 to Ecuador. There you go. The, ho the hosts are now officially behind. Let VAR definitely won't rule that one up. So, a goal for Ecuador. Really good to see fans enjoying themselves no matter what. At this moment in time, Ecuador just look really comfortable on the ball. They've been all over Qatar. Um, and it's not easy to go and play the host nation, so I'm going to have to in the first game as well. Especially, but Ecuador are just controlling the game quite well. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. It's 2-0 to Ecuador. What a goal. What a fabulous header. Worthy of the 2-0 lead, I feel. What a second goal that was. Just a very, very powerful header. Absolutely superb. I'm telling you. There they are going crazy. Just one hell of a finish. Wow. Just honestly, what a goal. And, oh, I don't think he's offside. That's a goal. Just a great header all round. So Valencia is on two goals. What is going on? So Valencia. And yeah, the host nation, Qatar, really need to get their crap together here. Or else they're getting humiliated in the first game. So E Valencia has gone off here in injured. Hopefully, uh, they hope he will be good because he has been superb for the, the, the Ecuador team. Yeah, there will be five minutes of stoppage time. Right. Qatar had a clear-cut opportunity, it's half-time now, but he was offside, so I don't, but yeah, offside, yeah, so that's half-time, it's been all Ecuador, and Qatar better fixed up at half-time here, well, as the home nation, because they're, but yeah, good first half from Qatar, from Ecuador, and yeah, it's been quite eventful, so, some good football there. Yeah, so, this is what I'm going to be doing to keep occupied during this tournament. I'll be trying to fill it out, I can't guarantee that I'll be filling this out. But I like doing this, it's a good little hobby during this thing. I've even got some, a Premier League binder, besides filling things out, and that. Yeah. But yeah, of course. I've got to have that sticker album. Had one during the Euros so and I've got one for the World Cup. Right, that second half is about to commence in this opener. Country Tree made a good point here. It was men against boys in that first half. Ecuador being the, the men, Qatar being the boys. We are underway in the second half. Yeah. Will, will Qatar continue getting slapped up? Or will, or will they come back? So, the game, Qatar are beginning, beginning to look very quite stretched. They're getting quite tired, I feel. And in my opinion, looks like a third goal is coming. I hate. And yeah, they've got Ecuador have a throw in. And headed away. But the goalkeeper for Qatar made a great save. Ecuador are going to make a change here. Looking like a, a player is getting ready. Qatar have had a bit more of the ball. But Ecuador just look too organised. So Ecuador, make, Ecuador are making a change. Ibarra is coming, coming off for Eto. So there you go. So Qatar are going to make a change. But beforehand, Ecuador have a free kick. I really do sense that Ecuador are going to score a third, even though not much has happened. So Al Haydu is the first substitute. He's coming off. 
and then and and then Al Sheeb, no M Wad. I don't know how to pronounce these names, guys. To be honest, is coming on, and then Montari is departing. Fifteen minutes to go, and it's still two 0 to Ecuador. And another player has gone down. I think Ecuador needs to be concerned because they've got a bit of a growing injury list here. There you go. So, looks like he's stiff, stiffing up. It's E Valencia. What a finish that was. Yeah. E Valencia is going off. Chance there for Ecuador, but it was offside. My word. So it would have been ruled out anyway. A bit, he, went, he went a bit early there, so close. What a chance for the Ecuadorian. He had he a chance there to get a goal from Qatar. He literally took it first run. Five minutes, nearly almost four minutes from from injury time. There it is. Love, lovely run. Just, oh, he just needed to put it in the back of the net. A late double change here for Ecuador. Kevin Rodriguez um, is coming on. Estrada is coming off. Casado is also coming off. And then Franco and Rodriguez is coming on. There will be five minutes of added time. There you go. The first game of the World Cup has finished. And it was, all, it was men against boys, really. And there you go. Ecuador have won. It's the first time in history that the host nation has lost. So yeah, what do I think of the game? Very eventful in the first half. And then it was more of a pity how Ecuador controlled the game. And here we go. Here we go. Qatar nil, Ecuador... No, Qatar... Qatar nil, Ecuador 2. The first game. Yeah, thank you for watching so much. Hope to see you in my next video. And yeah, thank you for watching.